I've got bad news for you. Running is always hard. It doesn't matter how long you've been running, it doesn't matter how fit you are, running stays hard. Today we're gonna to unpack performance, going further, and running to be healthy. If you've got performance goals, in other words, you want to run faster or your training to go longer and longer, then you're going to have to mix up workouts and do a variety of training. Shona's gonna unpack later in the video about going longer and training for longer. I'm gonna talk specifically about getting faster. If you are trying to get faster, you're gonna have a mix of workouts. You're going to be doing some speed work or interval work, tempo type work, hill work, a, a wide variety of, of work. And the reality is, is that as you improve, you are going to be doing those workouts faster and faster. And the bad news is, is that they do not feel easier. In fact, each time as you're going, you will get a sense sometimes that they're actually feeling harder and that's because mentally, we often expect those workouts to get easier as we get fitter. They don't get easier, we get faster. And that is how you are tracking that improvement and to get better, in those specific workouts you are going to constantly need to push yourself and test yourself to make sure that you do in fact improve all right thanks Linz. and 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 if we if your goals are that you want to actually go further or, or longer essentially the similar principles apply to what Lindsay has spoken about think back to when you first started running and 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 you went from doing nothing to perhaps running a 5k that that was a big step that's a hard thing to do and 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 so the same thing applies if you go from five to ten ten to half marathon and so we can we can go on and go on. I think one of the things I personally love about long distance running or in particular marathons are my favorite, but one of the things I love about it is that it does hurt. <laughs> Sounds a bit sadistic, but, but it, uh, if it was really easy, the, the, that cliche quote, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. And it's about finding your boundaries and pushing your boundaries and, and really digging through that and coming out on the other end. And as we go a little bit further, it's still it's still going to hurt, right? So if, if you're doing an ultra marathon, um, it, it really is still going to hurt. It's just the fitter you get or the more efficient it gets is, is, is how much you're able to push that hurt further along and, and, and how much later you get to actually feel that hurt. And that's why we train the way we train because we're trying to get our bodies fit enough and, and efficient enough to allow us to go much further for longer. It's not about that it just gets easier. It's essentially that you just get better and better. So if we look at the, the physiology around this and what better actually means, essentially your body gets more efficient at utilizing the fuel that it has at the same sort of intensity so you're you're able to go a lot further at the same sort of intensity and the body is able to to use the same amount of fuel or, or become really really more efficient at utilizing that fuel for a longer period of time if you're just starting out running or potentially coming back from a bit of a layoff with illness or injury even if you've been running for some time you'll know that it is always hard to start running. That is normal. You've got to get used to those intensities. Your body has no idea what's going on and what you're suddenly exerting it to. Be aware it will always be difficult to get started. And it really is about getting your intensity right. Running nice and easy enough so that it is more sustainable later on. The idea of this is just to make sure that you're lowering your risk of injury by running slower and not trying to push yourself too hard. It makes it a little bit more enjoyable and your perceived effort generally feels a lot lighter if you're able to start a little bit lower. And the slower you progress, the better and more permanent your gains are later on down the line. You really need to give it about three weeks of just being patient be consistent and usually that's first three weeks we kind of see that as your first hump once you can get over those three weeks it generally does become a little bit easier running you feel a little bit more in a routine you're almost excited to get out for the next run as well patience and consistency is absolutely vital and the rest will start to fall into place so as dev mentioned when you first start out running is sore and uncomfortable uh, but if you are only training for the health benefits that you get from doing moderate intensity exercise on a fairly regular basis, then you will get to a point where running is very comfortable, running 
um, is fun. They are sessions that you really look forward to. You can probably do them with buddies and have a really fat conversation and chat. And there's really excellent research that shows that doing 30 to 45 minutes moderate intensity exercise on most days of the week leads to enormous health and heart benefits. So if that is your goal, to be healthy, to be there for your children, to make sure that you have a much more comfortable um, lifestyle uh, for, for activities of daily living, then of course you're gonna get to a point where running is not only comfortable, but it's extremely enjoyable and it's not that taxing. What's really important to emphasize now is that you can't run hard every time you run and expect to get improvements. We are specifically talking about those workouts where you need to get out of your comfort zone, when you are edging yourself longer, or when you are pushing yourself that little bit harder. Those workouts are never going to get easy, but it's of critical importance that you also have workouts in your week that are very, very easy and keep you well within your comfort zone. So in essence, it's all very well and good knowing that you've got to do the hard stuff and pushing yourself in the hard stuff. But the magic is into structuring your whole week. And if you want to know how to structure your week, then you can watch this video to talk you through how to structure your training.